Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Oh, thanks. So do you. Let me turn up my volume. Just yeah, me too. A little bit, just so I can hear you. Perfect. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Is everybody staying safe and everything? Yeah, yeah, we are. Just I don't know, getting a little stir crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's been like a little over a month, and it's going insane. Yeah. Um, are you quarantining with your family right now? I am, yeah. Okay. I'm at my parents' house and my brother, and yeah, so we're we're here. And you live in Alabama, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta right now, so. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. So how how is that with um, how everybody just opened up everything there? Yeah, I'm still staying inside. I know a lot of people <laughs> are still staying inside. Um, yeah. I'm definitely not going out to any restaurants or anything like that right right now. yeah yeah and That's i didn't even so... introduce myself i'm tatiana by the way <laughs> Hi, Tatiana. <laughs> no i watched your um i watched your live with keith so i just i don't know oh, i yeah. felt like i've met you but i actually haven't <laughs> so but how <laughs> yeah nice to meet you. i know nice to formally meet yeah so i want to jump right into it um so you i feel like you come from like the industry background, like your father was in the industry, right? So it's something that you kind of always like grew up with. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was signed uh, when I was a baby. So yeah, I was always around him in the studio yeah. and everything. And mm -hmm. I think it just naturally bit me, the bug bit me when I was super young. So yeah, mm -hmm. he definitely is a huge influence in what I do and why I do it. So yeah. Did you ever think about doing anything else or was acting and music like always on your radar? Um, I mean, I feel like when I was young, there were little things like I remember wanting to play soccer, but it didn't last very long. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. like I feel like it was like for a split second. Then it was like, yeah, no, I think it's always been singing and acting for me for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then you were in a group too, right? You were in mm -hmm. uh, Love Dollhouse. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you were in. And um, when did you, when did you guys like break up? Um, we went through a few different transitions actually. Okay. Um, so it was, it always felt like it ended at some point, but um, I think <laughs> officially it was in 2014 or 15. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So did you guys, you guys release, did you guys ever release music? Cause I, you were on America's Got Talent, right? Yeah. And that was like in the beginning, beginning before we okay. ever got signed. Um, okay. So that was before, I mean, I was in high school still at that point. Mm -hmm. So it was still, I think our parents were starting to take us seriously, like mm -hmm. at that point and everything. Um, yeah. I think I was in like ninth grade or 10th grade. Mm hmm when that happened um and then we had released only one song when we actually got signed okay which was in 2012 when I was a senior um in high school and I think we released in 2012 or 2013 mm -hmm. maybe 2013 yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's all mixed up in my mind what was it like being in a being in a girl group at such a young age too yeah, it was interesting. I think it just taught me a lot of different lessons, I think mm -hmm. more than anything. Um, it was cool in theory, I think for a long time, like, since I was young, I loved TLC, I loved Destiny's Child, like I was mm -hmm. just super like, just, you know, mesmerized by them. And I admire them so much and love like the camaraderie of a girl group and mm -hmm. the sisterhood of it all. And um I really did genuinely, genuinely want to have, you know, sisters and to be in a girl group and to have best friends and for us to be successful together, you know, like mm -hmm. that was the dream, you know, who wouldn't want that? But, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult. Groups are difficult, but girl groups are even more difficult. They're like 10 times <laughs> more difficult. I can only so, imagine. Yeah. So um, it was a lot. And I mean, I got beautiful friendship out of it um one of the girls is still my best friend to this day um 
and yeah, just a lot of lessons that you learn throughout about friendship, about the industry, um, about how, you know, to move in general and how you mature. I mean, we were so young, you mm -hmm. know, so we all of us made a lot of mistakes. All of us didn't know, you know, who we even were at that point. So, um, yeah, there was just, of course, a lot of drama, but I think it was all like out of being young as well <laughs> I right. think too you know um mm -hmm. I've grown a lot um I'm sure everyone else has you know so yeah it was it was definitely a moment in time that I think <laughs> is good to keep in the past but definitely <laughs> something that you know I grew from yeah and your mom's been your manager like since you were a kid too yeah mm -hmm. literally since I was super young um and yeah, she's seen it all with me, so. Mm -hmm. What's that like having someone like your mom that you trust so much being your manager? Do you think that's like the best route to go? Um, It's definitely, I think, you know, it's different for everyone. But yeah. um, I know for me, it was something that I felt most comfortable just because, you know, you trust your mom more than any other person that will come into your life saying, you know, I'm going to basically be like, you know, your machine for starting up. And it's mm -hmm. it's hard to trust somebody um, during this time, especially when you're getting into it. You know, um, it's a lot of people that, you know, come in it just a little shysty, a little snake-like, and you right. just never know who you can really trust. Um, and I've definitely seen that happen. So, you know, your mom's going to have your best interest. Um and she definitely has. It's definitely not, you know, completely perfect. You know, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, it's your mom and anybody, even just with a normal relationship with their mom, you know, they have their ups and downs. But I think now we've definitely learned more on how to keep things, you know, business, professional, and then know when to click into that's my mom, she's my daughter type of thing. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's so important too. So, did you did you do any acting when you were young? Like, how did you get into the pivot of acting from music? Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. It was kind of something I always, like, in my mind, it was something that was hand in hand for me. Like, I, I was always super dramatic as a kid. I say this all the time. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, like a broken record at this point. I was super dramatic. I always mm -hmm. would know every line of, like, a musical. Uh, but also know the songs, you know, like it was like something that it would just come hand in hand for me. And when I was young, I was in a youth theater in Detroit called Mosaic, um, which is still up and running a beautiful, beautiful program um, that just really teaches you a lot. And I think, you know, whether you go into the theater department or the singing department, they kind of always made you, you know, dive into both in some way. And I did that because I was in the choir department and we still had to, you know, be a part of the plays and like, you know, audition for parts in that area too. So it was something that I always loved. Um, I think when I was younger, I was probably just a little more like, I don't really know if I can really do it, um, yeah. but I did. So it, it was definitely just something that bit me young as well. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of loved them equally just didn't know if I was capable of both as much so yeah. do you have one that you love more right now or does it go like back and forth um I mean I guess you could say it goes back and forth but it's really just like you know what opportunity presents itself like mm -hmm. um when star had came to me in 2016 not actually to me but when it was just like a thing that it was coming out mm -hmm. um and, you know, the audition process started. It was just something that naturally, organically happened, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I was still, you know, um, going through things with music at that time. Me and the group had just broken up right before then. Mm -hmm. um, so it just, ironically, like, it just happened that way. Like, I was, you know, going hard on music for years uh, with the group. And then the show came about. And then mm -hmm. that kind of, you know took me in a little different direction than I didn't see coming but it happened so I think it just goes like you know in, in ways, ways just mm -hmm. depends on like what's going on I try to balance it as much now especially because mm -hmm. I see you know I have a bit more control over it now um yeah. I think when you're just starting you're just kind of like 
almost taking anything in a way like you're just trying to work so um mm -hmm. thankfully now i am in a position where i can kind of you know navigate and like go through things that i know i want to do versus what mm -hmm. i don't and um you can be a balance. little more choosy yeah mm -hmm. i can be a little more choosy and know when you know i want to like buckle down and you know just work on my music or mm -hmm. if i want to you know do a project and if I'm doing a project, like, how can I split my time in between recording and filming? So um, yeah. it's definitely, it's definitely a challenge. But yeah, I love both so much. And I have to do both. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Star, Star was like a hit. People loved it so much. And they were so sad when it went off the air. Yeah. Talk about um, the audition process for Star and just like working on that show because it was so great and you were so great in it. Like I loved watching Star. Thank every you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it was it was an adventure and from beginning to end, like with the audition process, I didn't live in LA yet. I was still in Detroit, um, so I was sending self tapes. And then when it came to the test, they had to fly me out. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I met the other girls, but obviously we didn't know who was going to be who yet. Right. Um, but they had gone through a little different, like, boot camp type of thing that I didn't wow. go through. I think it was a combination of just, you know, them living, you know, in L.A. and then I wasn't. So it was just they went through, like, 10 different audition, like, times and, like, seeing mm -hmm. people and, like, meeting Lee over and over again and when they mm -hmm. had told me all the stuff that they had gone through because they even went through it through it with a different person that was auditioning for Alexander as well so mm -hmm. it was just all like all over the place and we had different um processes but it was it was a lot and I think we knew once we had met each other that day that it was going to be us three um mm -hmm. I think we just felt it um, it was also Cotton, who is played by Amaya Scott. She was within that as well. Um, and yeah, I think we all just kind of knew that we had it. And I remember when I knew I had it, um, I got <laughs> really emotional, <laughs> but not in a way that people would think. I actually got really scared because, like I said, I just got out of a girl group and I was just like, really like again like this I mean even though it's not real it's still like what like why God? like what, is, <laughs> what are you trying to tell me <laughs> yeah. I was just so thrown off by the whole thing and I was just mm -hmm. you know just really scared it was just really out of fear and it's such a weird thing to say and go through because it's like you know a Lee Daniels show on Fox like who wouldn't right. want that like you know so but it was just you know everybody goes through different things in their head and everyone's entitled to their own feelings so mm -hmm. that's what I felt at the time and yeah um I knew that I wasn't gonna pass it up like I knew mm -hmm. you know like I was still gonna go through it but I was just I was really contemplating on if it was smart to mm -hmm. and it obviously was but it was yeah. it was a lot of challenges within um the show as well um but still very beautiful, so. Yeah. How did you like Atlanta? Atlanta was super, super cool. I <laughs> loved the energy. I loved the food. Yeah. I loved um, <laughs> just the atmosphere. I think it was just, it was something that kind of felt like home in a way, but <laughs> still a little different. Um, yeah. And yeah, it just, it felt really good. I had ended up buying a house out there, um, towards the end of our last season me and Brittany did and um mm -hmm. mine was still being built and it was going through like a whole process that took way longer than I expected but I was gonna live out there um oh you liked it that cool. much I know right yeah I did <laughs> but at that time I also thought that we would be going possibly for a fourth right. season so mm -hmm. that was in my mind because I was sick of paying rent you know throwing money yeah. away so I thought it'd be a great investment. Um, and then it just took a different route. And I think, I think that was God basically telling me, like, you probably don't like Atlanta that much. <laughs> like, LA is probably where 
<laughs> you really want to be at Where and it is be. but yeah um I really did like Atlanta and I really loved the place that I was gonna be in too I was very mm-hmm. very excited for it but yeah. it's happened so and the fans still want a star movie like they're not they're not finished they <laughs> still want this to go on like forever. they're not finished <laughs> Do you they are so not finished? <laughs> do you think we'll ever get a star movie or um uh, maybe on Netflix or something <laughs> or Fox I really service? don't know I mean honestly the only person that would truly know is Lee Daniels mm-hmm. and um he's been working on so much stuff now so he's mm-hmm. also backed up with just you know work and different projects and right obviously we're doing stuff too so it's just i don't know i don't know if it'll ever happen um mm-hmm. i definitely don't think it'll happen anytime soon so i mean it's so much that goes into that you know like mm-hmm. and then like getting people's schedules like not ours really but more so like queen latifah and like you know just like right. getting people like down like to do it and then getting mm-hmm. a script and then like seeing who's actually going to put it on their platform or if it's going to go to the theaters like you just don't it's just yeah. it's just a lot that I don't think people realize goes into it so um we're just we gonna have to hold really out hope hope and pray on really it. I mean they're gonna have to like <laughs> really like go hard go to like Lee's house and like petition Protest. out there yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know at least we still get to see you, you know, on our TV screens now because you're in Grownish, which yeah. everybody was super excited about to hear that you were joining the Grownish cast. What was that like? I know that was crazy. Joining, um, um what was that what like? Was it like, yeah, joining, yeah, and working with you know, really, Dara. yeah, it was really mm-hmm. cool. It was, um, something that I just didn't expect because I was a genuine fan of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, when it started, because I love Yara, I love Chloe and Hallie, and um, mm-hmm. I'm cool with them, so it was something that I supported from the get-go. Right. Um, and just never saw, like, our paths crossing like that, mm-hmm. so it was just, like, crazy to see it all, you know, come together at some point. It was really cool, and, and like I said, I've been a fan of the show, and also just that world, I think, was really intriguing to me. Like I've always wanted to play like a college student. I've always wanted to, you know, just be in a world where like my character Jillian is just super laid back and cool. She's a, you know, in into film and Mm -hmm. she's just a character that I think since I was young, I just wanted to like play a character like that. Like she gives me like Denise Huxtable vibes, like, and right like, just there like a whole bunch of different like vibes that you get from her like it's yeah. somebody that I always wanted to play like that type mm-hmm. of character so it was really really cool on top of being a part of um such a like big cast like that family type of mm-hmm. cast um yeah. was like really cool intimidating to go into because you just don't know how people are gonna you know mm-hmm. act and you know invite you in but I say it all the time they were so amazing to me they embraced me and I'm so appreciative of that because you know I think people can be really mean in Hollywood I think and um you know you just never know what your experience is going to be coming into something that already has like a foundation you know so Mm -hmm. it was just really cool to go into something like that and um I'm glad that everyone everyone received it and received me um I'm very thankful for it so it was cool can you tell us anything about what's going to happen with Jillian? Like, I feel like she's been super chill <laughs> under mm-hmm. the radar. I felt like we thought she was going to have beef with Zoe, and then right. they didn't have <laughs> and then they couldn't I work know. it out. And then there's, like, so many people that are like, why don't they, why don't they argue already? I'm like, uh-huh. why don't you guys want them to be friends? Right, right. <laughs> like, this can happen. This is something that can happen. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can't really say much. Um, I think the second half of the season is going to be really exciting, though, um, just for all the storylines. But, I mean, it's so hard to get, like, a lot in there into a Mm -hmm. 30-minute show. Like, I don't think people realize that. Like, there's so many characters a part of the show, and, um, like, getting all their stories into a 30-minute ep is really difficult to do. Um, Mm -hmm. But it's going to be really cool. I think you're going to see more of 
just Jillian in her element with, you know, filming and why she's there, being a film major and whatnot. So it'll be cool to dive into that more. Um, so I'm excited for people to see that. Okay. Well, I can't wait. I'm like a huge Grownish fan, so I'll be looking forward to Yay. that. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so your fans sent me a bunch of questions that they will oh God. kill me if I do not ask you. Oh God. Um, so they want to know, are they getting any quarantine music? Oh, God. <laughs> um, oh, see, if I say something mm -hmm. and then it doesn't happen, then they're going to get really mad. So, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely cooking up something. And okay. hopefully okay. it'll be out by this whole quarantine time all righty you guys you have to stay tuned she's dropping yeah. she's dropping something <laughs> um and then they wanted to ask they wanted me to ask you about uh flint strong which is a movie that you are going to be attached to congratulations thank you and i guess they just want to know what that project you know me means to you yeah um i mean it's just an honor like I I think it's still surreal to me and mm -hmm. um I mean we were literally filming we filmed for two days right before we had to shut down production. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. so it's just it's a little weird right now because I mean I think within the film industry period it's just been sort of like, you know, forever evolving but really evolving within these last few years with streaming and everything involved. So right. um I mean, it's, it's, you know, an actor's dream to know when, like, their first movie is going to be, like, on the big screen and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it is and it will be, but it's just about a matter of, you know, how, you know, people are going to react in the theaters now. Like, are people going to go to the movies as much anymore after this? Like, it's just all very scary. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm being optimistic about it. It's going to be great. Um, I'm very excited, very honored. For this to be, you know, my first huge movie is just yes. insane to me. And um, I'm honored to play Clar Clarissa because she's such a powerhouse. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, with it being boxing, she's a literal powerhouse. But mm -hmm. her as a person as well is just, you know, a person who you would want to play. Like, she, she's so strong. She is so confident. And I think more mm -hmm. than anything... I've always said that I've been, I mean, I've been training uh, for months, um, but I think more than anything, her confidence is something that I'm really going to have to make sure I, you know, really <laughs> make clear yeah. in the movie because it's something that is abnormal. Like, you don't always see somebody with this drive that, you know, you can't really tell them anything, mm -hmm. um, no matter what, like, they just know they're the best period so mm -hmm. it's um like i said it's an honor it's really cool uh to be doing this and i just hope i do her story justice and it's just it's crazy that this is even being made it's yeah. not your normal movie you know mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah um it's gonna be it's gonna be really great so mm -hmm. i'm excited we'll all be looking out for that yeah. uh how do you how do you prepare for auditions um oh man i think at a certain point not gonna lie i'm gonna be straight up at a okay. certain point you definitely get to a point where it's just like you audition so much mm -hmm. that after a minute it, it can be hard to get excited and like you know have this like super drive for it and i think at that point it becomes you know, are you really passionate about the project? Um, I mean, right. for instance, I think with Flint Strong, I mean, I had watched the documentary, I read mm -hmm. the script, I was just like super into it. And so that made, you know, the audition process for me like so much better because I was like just really ready and just ready to dive into it and go for it and go really hard for it too. So um, I think it's different for each project I do. I mean, I think sometimes it can, you know, be a project that you feel like they're not really going to pick me. Like it's something that, you know, whether it be in the description, it's something that you feel like they're not even going to, you know, choose somebody that looks like me. So right. it's hard to get 
you know, amped up for something like that, amped up for to audition for something like that. So I honestly, to be 100% real, it just depends on what exactly I'm auditioning for. I think it's just about um, really just trying to put your self into that character's shoes as much as possible, um, making sure you know your lines as much as possible so then you won't have to think about it during the audition as much. Like, it just literally flows out, and I think that's mm -hmm. the smartest thing that you can really do is just, like, over-prepare so then it doesn't blow up and all you're thinking about are the lines and how you screw them up. Because, honestly, people don't even care about the lines being word for word that much. It's more so about the emotion of it all and, you know, how much you put yourself into it. So it just depends, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and I have to ask you some questions about Keith. Would you, <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys did Big Sean's video together, but would you ever do like a movie or a TV show with him? Um, I mean, I think we would only if it was something that was organic and felt right. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, it, and it would just have to be like the right project, I think, you know, yeah. I think. It just depends. We're not pushing anything, you know, forcing anything. Mm -hmm. um, and we definitely don't want to, like, <laughs> we're not the type to want to, like, shove you, shove us in you guys' faces. So <laughs> we definitely <laughs> wouldn't want it to be, like, overkill or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, wow, they're in a movie together. So it really just depends on the project, I think. It, it would be it would be cool. It would be really fun because doing the Sean video with him was fun. Um mm -hmm. <laughs> to do it could be a little awkward sometimes he was like oh my god we have to like kiss in front of all these people which is like <laughs> normal and like you know if it was another actor that I wasn't dating but since right. we are dating it was like this is weird but it was, <laughs> fun. It was fun it was really fun to do that mm -hmm. yeah what um is something that you guys like to do together um I mean, I'm, like, a person who loves adventure, and I just like doing stuff that I haven't really done, or, like, doing things outside more. Like, mm -hmm. we've gone to the gun range before, which is really cool. We want to do archery together. Um, I love amusement parks. Like, I'm a super roller coaster junkie. Me too. So, me too. Oh, my God. What's your sign? I love my sign. Yeah. Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you? <laughs> I'm an Aries. Oh, I'm, okay. Yeah, Aries are Aries are like that. I love Aries. My best friend's an Aries. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I love anything that's kind of, I don't know, that you don't normally do. I mean, I want to mm -hmm. do like a pottery class with him that we've been talking about. Um, mm -hmm. That'd be super fun. Just, I don't know, just stuff. We're also like a really cool, like not cool, a chill couple as well. So we do like watch and binge a lot of shows together um mm -hmm. play video games together um, yeah it really fun. yeah <laughs> yeah but I do like doing stuff outside and mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I am on him a lot about <laughs> doing different stuff so is he like the homebody and you're the one that's like let's go out it's actually the opposite like really? it, it definitely <laughs> like with that it depends because he's like well, I guess not as much now, but he, like, is such a people person, like, and he'll mm -hmm. go out to, like, whatever lounge or club or party, like, he's so that person to, like, want to mm -hmm. go, and I'm like, do we have to? Like, <laughs> can we just stay in here, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm begging you. <laughs> but, um, and then sometimes, you know, if it, if it's something that, like, like I was just saying, like an amusement park and stuff like that, like I'm all for it, you know? So yeah. it really, it's really like flipped with stuff. He's usually always down for the most part. And I'm the one who really just wants to stay home and like play the Sims or something. Like I'm mm -hmm. so at home <laughs> person. I'm a homebody for sure. Mm -hmm. So quarantine hasn't been too, too rough. <laughs> It's funny, every, like, all my friends and everything have been saying, like, Ryan, this must be a dream for you. Like, <laughs> like this is right up your alley. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I think at this point, it's just been a little too much for me, you know? Like, at first, it was like, okay, this is normal. Like, I do this all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, at this point, it's definitely just, 
I want to go out. But I think more than anything, I just want to work. Like, I want to get back to filming now. Um, mm -hmm. And then when I'm done filming, I'm right back in the house again. <laughs> yeah. I completely, I hear you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a homebody too, but I'm like a little bit ready to get out the house. And yeah, definitely. I mean, to do, I mean, to eat to anything. I'm just like, yeah, I want to do something. But yeah, it's been <laughs> cool to spend time with like family. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, that's been really cool, honestly, because I definitely miss my family when I'm away. So that's been just really cool to be able to get to do during yeah. this time. And I'm sure you've heard this a bunch, but you are literally so stunning. Like, oh you my are gosh, gorgeous. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. And I feel like we don't see enough women like you on camera who look like you how important is it for you to be that representation for women because I think you're such a good model for that thank you um it's just it's everything to me and I think that people know that now especially mm -hmm. um because you know just with different interviews and everything I've voiced that voiced that as much as possible and yeah um it's just been something that for years now, I I think it's a part of my purpose to, mm -hmm. you know, be something and someone that people can look up to, young girls can look up to, and I'm proud of it. And I just want to keep making people proud as much as possible. Um, and, you know, knowing that I'm not doing it alone, like there's so many other women out here mm -hmm. right now doing it, women before me that have been killing it, paving the way for me. Um, so, you know, it's just about paying homage to them as well as continuing it, making it grow, um, supporting other women as well. Like, I don't just want to be the only one, um, right. you know, because then that would be pointless. Like, I want mm -hmm. it to be a lot of us, our faces just seen everywhere in different aspects and different lights that you just usually don't see. So it's always been very, very important to me because since I was young, I felt that literal same way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm honored and I'm just glad that I can be that for people. It mm -hmm. means a lot. Yeah. So besides new music and mm -hmm. strong when the world gets back, what <laughs> else do can we expect for you what else do you, what else do you have coming up your sleeve <laughs> oh man I mean it's really hard to say and it's stuff that I honestly can't even say right now <laughs> okay, um, okay. <laughs> but, I mean there's been there's been a lot of different things and like changes like with my team even um mm -hmm. that I'm just really excited for there's gonna be um, a lot of different things I'm going to be diving into. Um, but again, it's, it's hard to say when I haven't even filmed a movie yet that I was supposed to be finishing up now, <laughs> literally. Um, so a lot of things honestly have been, you know, put on hold, put on pause, taking a little, you know, slower to, you know, find out, figure out, um, set in stone. So, but there's, there's a lot of cool things. I'm really excited for the new year. It's so weird even having to say that. We're not even done with 2020, but um, <laughs> things have been pushed back, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm excited about the future, being optimistic about the future. Um, so yeah, I just hope that everyone is still sticking with me. <laughs> we are, we are. We're looking at, are you on TikTok? I'm like, half on TikTok, half not on TikTok. Like, I've made TikToks, mm -hmm. but I've never, like, straight up posted on TikTok. Like, okay. it's weird. Like, I've made TikToks with my brother, and I made a TikTok with Moni. And I know. That's what friends. I was talking about. Oh, man. So, that went viral on Twitter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I have actually, I have one, but I don't, I don't go on it. Maybe I'll go on it more. I just, I never even thought I'd make a TikTok. So, mm -hmm. it's just crazy that I even did. And I think that is for a lot of people during quarantine. Right. <laughs> They're doing things that they never thought they would do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, maybe I'll post more. I don't know. I think My they TikTok, want one. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I think they want it. Yeah, one with Normani, we were like, oh, we need more. We need more. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> All right.
right. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. This was no so much problem. fun. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm really, I'm really glad. And thank you guys for always being supportive. Um, I really appreciate it a lot. Everybody's talking about your TikTok right now in the comments. Oh, God. Like, post it, post it. My TikTok name is, Uh-oh. I, I think, I think it's Rai Rai Destiny. Because Ryan Destiny was taken. Really? I don't know who took it. Yeah. Why are you it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's at Rai Rai Destiny. So right. follow me on there and maybe I'll post something. Maybe. I don't know. And then on IG, you're Ryan Destiny and Twitter. Yes. Yeah. Everything else is Ryan Destiny. Okay. Thankfully. So yeah. But somebody stole your TikTok. Like. No, no. <laughs> like, come on like what am I supposed to do now this that's probably why I haven't posted anything on right <laughs> <laughs> right but thank you so much for joining me and thank you to everyone no tuned in I hope everybody stays yes. safe stay at home wash your hands all that yes everyone please stay safe and at home I hope everyone's families are safe right now and hopefully they're using this time to I don't know do something <laughs> anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thank you so much thank you girl nice talking to you nice talking to you too <laughs> bye